Hello everyone, my name is Rodolphe Pierre-Louis from ActionVFX.com. In this video, I will go over the many ways you can easily remove or key out a black background from stock footage. I decided to make this video because I realized that when it came to visual effects stock footage, a lot of people seem to struggle whenever a clip is not pre-keyed. And by pre-keyed, I mean whenever a clip doesn't already have an alpha channel. So instead of a transparent background, such a clip usually has a solid color background, like black, white, or green. Most of the VFX elements we provide at Action VFX do have an alpha channel, but a few of them only come on black, and we regularly get emails from users wondering how to get rid of it. Well, there are actually a few simple ways you can go about doing that, and in this video, I'll go over the best methods. The first method, and probably the most common method, is to use blending modes. Depending on your software, these may be called blending modes, blend modes, composite modes, or mixing modes. Whatever they're called in your software, they all do the same thing, which is blend one layer over another. There are many blending modes, but the mode screen and add are the best options when it comes to compositing clips with a black background. Uh, one quick side note before we move on, the best blending mode for white backgrounds is multiply. Now back to black. If I want to composite this fire element that has a black background with my shot, I just need to add the fire layer on top and add the blending mode to it. I usually prefer using screen since the results of add are a little too harsh for most situations. Neither is necessarily better than the other, it all depends on the final look you want. But blending modes are not always the way to go. Screen and add are additive blend modes, so the blending process will always result in a lighter color which is why this method will work best for light-based effects, such as fire, gun flashes, and sparks. For effects that don't emit any light, this won't work as well. To demonstrate what I mean, let's look at this fog example. If I apply a blending mode on this fog layer, you can see how much the fog brightens the footage below it. It's as if the fog is glowing. This brightening would have been fine if it was a fire effect, since fire is luminous, but it doesn't work that well when using non-light based effects like fog, dust, or smoke. Another reason you wouldn't use blending modes is because they don't actually key out the black background. The black background is still there, you just can't see it because it's blending the footage in a way that perfect black looks transparent, but there's no actual alpha channel. Not having an actual keyed effect can cause some major inconveniences when compositing. For example, since dark equals transparent, darkening this fire will cause it to go transparent, not dark. If you actually want to generate a perfect alpha channel from a clip with a black background, I'd recommend using a plugin like Demalt from HitFilm or Unmalt from Red Giant. Both of these plugins work the same way. They create an alpha channel based on the luminance of the clip. So the darker the pixels, the more transparent they will be. To me, these plugins are the absolute best tools to use for keying out black backgrounds. The best part is, Demalt is actually free. You can get it on the HitFilm website, it's part of their Ignite Express plugins collection, and it's compatible with many software like After Effects, Premiere, Nuke, Avid, Final Cut, Motion, Vegas, and much more. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. The way it works is simple. You apply it to the footage with the black background and you're done. That's it, a perfect key just like that. There aren't many settings in Demalt because as long as the background is perfectly black, you will get a perfect key. Unmalt works the exact same way, but it does include more settings. For example, by checking invert, you can key out the lighter parts of the image instead of the darker parts. This will work great for clips with a white background. Unmalt also has a tolerance slider. By default, it's set to zero, and for most situations, you should leave it there. But if you want a more extreme key on your footage, increasing the tolerance will do that. Unlike screen or add, these plugins will work great for more than just light-based effects. Let's go back to this foggy scene. This was the nasty result using blending modes, and this is using Demalt or Unmalt. No more word brightening from the fog, just a perfect, clean key which looks a lot more realistic. And if I wanted to darken the fog, then I can without having it turn transparent. And as I said, these plugins actually generate an alpha channel, so if you render your footage in a codec that supports alpha channels, 
then you too can have pre-keyed effects. If you're using After Effects, they actually have a built-in preset to unmold your footage. If you search under the Effects and Presets panel, it should be called Alpha from Lightness Unmold. It will give you a similar result as the Demold and Unmold plugins. However, I have noticed some slight color shifts to the original footage when using that preset. So be careful when you use it because it's not as perfect as the plugins. So do go down to Demold from HitFilm.com. As I said, it's free. Unmold is part of Red Giant Universe, so if you have a subscription, you should have access to that as well. I'll put the links in the description. All the methods I just talked about will work great as long as your stock footage has a perfectly black background. Since a perfectly black background is usually the case, you should be covered for about 90% of stock elements. But what if the background isn't perfect? Maybe the element wasn't shot in a completely dark room and you can see imperfections and patterns in the black background. Well, for After Effects, I recommend using the built-in linear color key effect. To use it, select black as the key color and adjust the tolerance and softness sliders until you get the best result. HitFilm Ignite Express also has a great free plugin for that called Hue and RGB Key. Like linear color key, set the key color to black, match colors by RGB, and use the tolerance and softness sliders until you're happy with the results. I personally love using this plugin. It's available for all the same software as Demult, so you should be covered no matter what software you add it on. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you will no longer get worried when you have to download stock footage that isn't pre-keyed. If you want to download all the clips that I use in this video, I've made them available for free on our blog. The link is in the description. Additionally, do check out our free VFX stock footage at actionvfx.com. We got a bunch of free stuff on there, so be sure to go and download all of it. Until next time, I'm Rodolf PLV from actionvfx.com. Thank you.